Hello, Brian from Workspace Admins here. Today we'll show you what happens when you request access to our Workspace Admins public shared red. So this contains many useful uh, information that uh, we have curated, or curated over the years. So this uh, shared drive has been shared with five different groups. So we have team at workspaceadmins.org, which contain uh, the team members here. So we also have different groups based on their roles. So we have groups for managers, contributors, content managers, and commenters. And it's the commenters group that we have uh, automated using uh, app script. So on the right hand, right hand side here, I am send with, signed in with Brian, the spoofer at gmail.com email. So I'm just going to go ahead and access to the share drive. So when that happens, uh, the access request is sent to the managers of the share drive. So I'm just going to go ahead and refresh it here. And as you can see, I just received a message from uh, Brian Kim requesting access to the share drive. So typically this would have to be done manually, uh, but because we are using uh, groups, uh, we can use some uh, simple app script to automate this process. So we'll just take a look at this message here. So message is actually coming from uh, workspaceadmins.org. Uh, so I will need to get the reply to email address, which is brandaspoofer at gmail.com. However, it is formatted by the first name, last name, angle bracket, brandaspoofer. So we'll need to use regular extraction, regular expression to extract only the message or only the email address. So let's switch over to the script here. So we have two functions here. So function one is add to group and function two is add member. So add to group function is running every five minutes. So we have an empty array called email. So every five minutes, we are getting the current time and looking at the messages received in the past five minutes. And we are also searching for any messages with a specific label called access request. So if you look at the message here, also message is already labeled using Gmail filters. So we are looking for messages with the labels, messages only with thread counts is one, meaning that I there is only one message in the email thread. So I haven't responded to the email. So from here, we are extracting the email address from reply to, and we are pushing that email address into the empty array. So once that array is created, we are responding to the requester with the message, and we are also calling the add member function here. So add member function at the bottom here. So if the group already contains a member, uh, we are not doing anything. But if the group does not contain a member, then we are inserting, a, inserting the requester as a member of the group. And we are sending email delivery saying to none and calling directory API to insert the member into the group, thereby giving them access. So let's see if uh, the script ran while we were recording the video. So let's just refresh the page here. So it looks like the script hasn't finished running yet. So it does run once every five minutes. So let's go ahead and take a look and confirm. So I'm just going to go ahead and refresh the screen here. Oh, let's just go back to the previous page and just wait for it to finish running. Actually, it just finished running. So as of zero minutes ago, I sent an email to Brian at works or Brian the spoofer at gmail.com. So let's confirm that is the case. Yep. So message has been received. So if I go here and refresh the screen here, you will see that I now have access to the shared drive. So this is how you or how we are automating uh, shared drive access for workspace admins.org, but you can also uh, use a script to kind of do the approval process for your shared drives uh, if you would like to uh, alter the script. So we'll share a link to the script uh, that's currently on GitHub. We don't have one for workspace admins yet, so I'll just uh, paste the link to the one that I have uh, created already. So uh, when it comes to time, when it when we have a uh, repository uh, created for workspace admins.org, so we'll update the link to that one uh, when we're ready. So hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you liked this, our video, 
uh, please subscribe to our subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, please leave us comments below and we'll get back to you. Thank you.